All right, you guys, a special time of the year again. It's March Madness. The brackets just were announced for Selection Sunday, and I'm going to go through all four of the regions. It's going to be four separate videos, so make sure you like this one, favorite this one, and check back later for all four of my regions and breaking down every single team. You're going to want to share this with your buddies, too, because I've watched a lot of college basketball this season. I've kept up with all the teams because I'm kind of a big gambler, and I've been gambling a lot on college basketball this season, and I've been checking out the trends. I know the players. I know the teams. I've watched and seen every single game line of a lot of these teams for the last two months, so I know a thing or two about what's going on. So you're going to want to follow me and make sure that you like this video and favorite it and come back to it so that way you know how to fill out your March Madness bracket. Let's get into it. In my part one, we're going to cover the East region. Now, I'm not going to give you pick for pick. I'll give you pick for pick as right before the tournament begins, but I'm going to give you my synopsis on majority of these teams in here. Purdue, obviously, they have Zach Eady. He's seven foot four. That's an easy win for Purdue. Now, the next matchup is interesting. Florida Atlantic only had three losses on the season in a really weak conference, but I think Memphis got kind of screwed with this seeding. They should have had a higher seed. Memphis just beat Houston in their tournament championship, and Memphis outplayed them the entire time. And Me and Houston is a one seed. So actually, I have Memphis beating Purdue in the next round once those two get there. Memphis is an underrated team. Same thing goes for Duke here. Duke went on a tirade for the last three weeks of the season. They shouldn't have been a five seed. I think that they are a much better team than Oral Roberts, Tennessee, and Louis uh, Louisiana. Tennessee being a four seed to me also doesn't make sense. However, I don't see any upsets here, and I see Duke beating all four of those teams that are right there. Next one is Kentucky Providence and Kansas State, Montana State. Montana State is not bad. Um, I There's a potential that I could see Montana State beating Kansas State, depending if Kansas State is going to be consistent. The Big 12 this season was really, really competitive, um, so I think that's why Kansas State got the three seed, but I don't think they're deserving. I, don't, I think that they should have gotten like a five or six seed in this tournament. But out of these four teams, I think Kentucky will beat Providence easy, and then Kentucky will beat whoever wins between Kansas State and Montana State. I think Kentucky as a six seed is a, is a real sleeper. They have potential to go a lot further because they have their power forward, Oscar Shibwe, kind of leading them in that charge. This is the interesting one right here. I'm not sure how Michigan State became a seven seed. Uh, I watched them and I saw a lot of their games the last three, four weeks of the season, and they got worse as the season went on. I don't think they deserved that spot. USC shouldn't have been a 10 seed. I think they could have been an eight or a seven seed as well. I have USC beating Michigan State without a doubt. Marquette, I'm not really high on them at all, even though they're a two seed. I think that their conference is a lot weaker than the other conferences. So if I had to choose, I think USC will beat Michigan State, and I think USC will also beat Marquette. But if I had to choose a final between the top and the bottom, I would have Duke facing off against Kentucky to go to the Final Four. And I think Duke is playing really, really well right now. They have their seven-footer, Filipowski, who is, as a freshman, I think he's the second-best freshman in the league behind Brandon Miller of Alabama. I think Duke can get out of this East region pretty easy. 